What's poppin' Bo Bros? Your boy is back, Blaze Bowman here, with Trumpet Hacks, where we turn dreams into double C's. Today, I want to give you the single best trumpet tip that you'll ever come across in your entire life. This is the number one secret that everyone has been hiding from you. Posture, yes? Posture is the single most important factor of all time for trumpet playing, and it can make or break you. The key is this, whenever you get a tip for trumpet, it has to be something that can revolutionize your playing, without you having to get distracted and get involved with all the minutia, that's where things go wrong, guys. Oftentimes, simple fixes like the one I'm about to show you are the way to go. Tweaking this tiny little variable will have a massive impact on your playing. People will tell you, oh, I need to tense up as much as possible. And that's when you end up looking like this. Don't be that guy. Now when we play high, the only thing that should be tense on your entire body should be your stomach. But everybody else just wants to get tense everywhere because they think it helps them play higher. Hint, it does not. Tension outside of your abs is the number one range killer. Few realize this. The correct way to play high on the trumpet is actually relaxing as much as possible so you can focus all that energy into your stomach so you can compress the air as much as possible. It's the number one factor behind range. So if you were to tense up the chops and pull your corners back like you're smiling like some band directors say, you would actually be hurting yourself because you should be focusing that energy on compressing the air. You need to focus on relaxation, not tension. It's the number one myth in all of trumpet playing and it honestly just needs to go away. I am so tired of it and I see so many guys falling victim to this every single day. Tension is detrimental. All right, here we go. This is the number one tip I wish I knew a couple years ago when I was just struggling really bad with range. When it comes to trumpet, horn angle is the number one factor. Horn angle is the number one factor behind all of trumpet playing. And no, I'm not here to preach to you like a band director that is really annoying. We're going way deeper than that. We're gonna solve all your problems and revolutionize your trumpet playing. I'll make this easy for you. You either have an underbite or an overbite. Your type has a huge, and I mean, huge impact on how you play the trumpet. It's crucial that you know your own type so you can optimize your own playing and surpass your potential. Now, do you have an underbite or do you have an overbite? Do your part and answer the questions right up there and shape the future of the trumpet world. For most of us, we have an underbite and that means we play below parallel. We naturally play below parallel into the floor and this shuts off your sound and the audience can't hear you. Now you can't really change your anatomy, but you can tweak your gear so you can optimize and revolutionize your playing. Now I'm just saying this hack applies to all the brass instruments out there, but especially the trumpet. You cannot miss this one. Let's go. You've heard it and I've heard it. Get your horn up or I'm gonna make you play third part trumpet. And you honestly just wanna light a tuba on fire and throw it off a 10 story building and smash it to your band director's car. Band directors will say, get your horn up, get your horn over the stand, stop playing into the floor. And for the 3,000th time in your life, you go, Ugh, and do this. Do you see the problem here? By doing this, there's so much tension in your neck that you're constricting your airstream. A good way to think of this is like you've got a garden hose and you just grasp off the end and water doesn't come out. It's the same thing when you tilt your neck back like that and it just gets super tense. Air will not come out like you want it to. By having so much tension in your neck, it absolutely destroys your endurance, your tone, and especially your range. And not to mention, doing that is pretty uncomfortable. And some band directors out there that don't really know too much about the trumpet will be like, but you've gotta have perfect posture so you can establish great playing fundamentals. Guys, that is BS because when they tell you that, basically they're setting you up to develop extremely bad habits where you're just so tense that it gets to the point where you cannot relax even if somebody shot you with a tranquilizer and that absolutely kills your range. We've all fallen victims to this. The perfect horn angle is the horn angle you play at naturally and you feel the most relaxed in and you get the maximum resonance and maximum comfort in. That's it, anything else is pretty much nonsense. I mean, come on, it's basic common sense. By making you play up towards the sky, your band directors are hurting you and no one is talking about this. It is the biggest problem in the trumpet world right now. And as time passes, you droop back down to a comfortable position and then your band director's like, get your horn up. And then you're just like, oh. And then you start sounding super bad again and you're just like, man, I hate this. Lucky for you, there's a quick hack that will revolutionize your playing and save your life. Now, if you're not a subscriber, you need to squash that subscribe button because we're eventually gonna drop a video that's a part two to this one that's gonna take you even further and set you up for even more success. Now, if you're already a subscriber, you might have noticed in my videos. Notice anything different about this mouthpiece? Look closely. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. The mouthpiece is bent. And I know some of y'all are thinking, what in tarnation? Why would you bend a trumpet mouthpiece? The simple answer is by bending your trumpet mouthpiece, 
it allows you to play in the most relaxed position possible while reaping all the benefits of having a perfect tournament. The days of uncomfortable playing are officially over. I've been playing on bent mouthpieces for over three years and guys, it was the best decision of my entire life. The simple hack resolves all of your tension problems and improves your tone, your endurance, and especially your range. Compare these two. On the left, we have an unbent mouthpiece with my natural horn angle. On the right, we have a bent mouthpiece with my natural horn angle. As you can see, this is a huge advantage because it allows you to play in the most relaxed position possible and you get all the benefits of having a perfect horn angle. It's an absolute no-brainer. The bent mouthpiece allows you to reap all the benefits of a perfect horn angle like maximum sound and maximum projection while allowing you to play in the most comfortable position possible. I've been using bent mouthpieces since 2015 and they have made my playing 1,000 times better and made my life 1,000 times easier. No more tension or pressure headaches, no more neck strains, none of that. It's absolutely just perfect if you just want to relax into the sound and have a good time. A bent mouthpiece makes playing trumpet literally 1,000 times more fun. You owe it to yourself to try out a bent mouthpiece. And yes, you can even get some bends as extreme as this. Now I send my mouthpieces in to get bent, but I've done a couple by myself and they've all turned out pretty well. So next week I'm doing a DIY how to bend your own mouthpiece video. It's pretty simple, so make sure to squash that subscribe button so you don't miss it. It'll change your life and your trumpet playing forever. Let's go squash that subscribe button. Now stop right there. We need to settle this debate. Which is better, a silver plated trumpet or a lacquer trumpet? Which do you play on and why do you love it? Let us know, comment down below. And most importantly, if you love this video, make sure to squash that like button. Now for those of y'all that are new around here, make sure to squash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. We post hilarious new videos every single Monday at 3 p.m. Squash that subscribe button, you can't miss it. Stop, if you aren't part of our Snap Squad, you need to stop what you're doing right now and add me right up there on Snapchat. There's some insane stuff that goes down on there that you guys can't miss out on. Once again, add me on Snapchat right there. Let's do it. Cheers, Bobros. Have a great summer. I will see you next week.